Hey, I'm Wesley. I'm gonna do my best to try to start a series where we talk about cool Vim tricks. Let's talk about Vim. Episode zero. A cool feature of Vim that a lot of people don't know about is that in Vim version eight, there is a terminal that you can open within the Vim editor. So I'll open Vim and I've just got normal Vim welcome screen here and I can, uh, you know, edit a file, you know, insert whatever text. To open a terminal in Vim, you go to command mode and type in terminal and hit enter and boom, you've popped into a terminal. That's basically all you need to know to get started. Um, in this video, we'll go through a, a few more things uh, about how to navigate and uh, work around within the terminal. So this is just a normal terminal. I can uh, do whatever I would normally do in a terminal. Um, probably the best place to get started, if you just wanna skip this whole video, uh, is to go to the help pages for the terminal. Just write, type in help terminal. That'll bring you to the help pages for the terminal inside of Vim. This is probably the best place to get started if you're into reading uh, help. Otherwise, keep watching. The terminal command is pretty great. You can use it to open a terminal at any point in time. I normally find that I don't like my terminal popping up from above. So the way you can move your terminal to uh, below is you type below terminal and that opens your terminal in the lower half of the screen. <clears throat> uh, I could also open the terminal on the right half of the screen, which is what I normally find myself doing. So to do that, you use the command uh, below vert or vertical uh, terminal. And that puts the terminal below and also splits the windows vertically. So now I've got the terminal over here on the right side. Now obviously, with all Vim commands, you can type the short version. So probably the shortest way to type this would be belvert term, and that will do the same thing. Uh, what I have actually found I like to do is I edit my vimrc file And um, I will create a uh, key mapping using leader key and then the backslash and T to open um, the terminal on the bottom right. And now if you um, hit backslash twice and then T, it'll open the terminal down below. Well, actually, one thing that I probably should talk about is how to switch between your terminal back to the other window. And th these are basic window commands within Vim. So if you look at the help pages for windows, uh, you'll learn about how to use all the keys to manage multiple windows. But uh, basically, you use Control W as your um, kind of the leader key, and then you press W to switch over to the other window. So Control W W. And that'll switch you between your terminal and then, well, it'll switch you between any two windows that you have open. You could just have a normal vertical split in your editor with multiple files. So you may find that you want to be able to back scroll in your terminal. Okay, so say I'm in my terminal and I'm catting log files or, uh, you know, just doing a lot of stuff in my terminal and uh, I want to be able to scroll back up. So to do that, you use the leader keys for the Vim terminal, which is, or Vim Windows, Control W, and then press capital N, Shift N, and that kind of puts you in sort of a normal mode, sort of like you would be in your, uh, you know, when you're normally editing a text file. And you can move around as if you were editing a text file uh, through the history of the terminal. And you can even copy and paste uh, text, you know, or yank, you know, yank and paste text the same way you would in a normal editor. To get back to the insert mode of your terminal, you just hit I and you're back in insert mode. That about wraps it up for episode zero of Ventrix or episode one, whichever you prefer. I also do videos about suckless applications 
and uh, just other Linux tools. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you in future videos. See you later.